Welcome to part one of the 10 things you need to know about infrared inspection windows. This is entitled, what is an infrared inspection window? Well, we need to look at the challenges that we face in electrical maintenance and electrical inspections using thermography. And you know, what we're trying to do really is to create a means for collecting an on-demand real-time condition status of, of mission critical electrical distribution systems and components. Uh, we're trying to mitigate the thousands of electrical worker injuries every year, some fatal, and billions in lost revenue from unplanned outages and equipment failures at the scene. And we're trying to implement a comprehensive, safe and intelligent protocol for performing essential energy surveillance and inspection procedures on electrical distribution systems, whilst trying to remove the inherent danger of those procedures and still allow for efficient routine inspections on demand because you know, we need to look at our equipment, we need to look at it effectively, but we also primarily need to protect our staff and our assets. So what is the solution at IRIS? Well, our solution is our electrical maintenance safety devices, or EMSDs, which are designed to maintain an enclosed and guarded condition at all times, ensuring personnel can complete essential maintenance tasks efficiently and safely without increasing risk to their personal safety or the, to the equipment they're inspecting or indeed the systems that they're inspecting. So there's a complete range of EMSDs here at IRIS. We have our infrared inspection windows which are round, square, rectangular and custom designed. We have a complete range of ports with ultrasound and data collection system ports. And we have our online monitoring systems such as Delta T Alert and our eCentury systems. But fundamentally what we're going to discuss here are infrared inspection windows and our ultrasound, port, or ultrasound and partial discharge port collection systems. So why use an infrared inspection window? Well, infrared cameras can only measure what they can see. And many years ago, I conducted an experiment just to try and understand um, heat transfer through metal, metal cabinets, because obviously we have a great deal of cooling going on. So I actually did an experiment where I took a soldering iron and I put it inside a cabinet or an electrical box that was 14 by 6 by 8, so not a large box. And I left that um, soldering iron in there for about 8 hours. And what I seen was that after 8 hours, I only seen a, a 14 degrees Celsius or 57 degree Fahrenheit rise, which really wasn't a lot considering that the core temperature of the of the soldering iron which was only a few inches away from the covers was 273 celsius or 523 fahrenheit so you can see from the infrared image here that i can see there's a heat plume there uh, but it's not a significant temperature rise and especially trying to get a shutdown so that really brought home to me the importance of getting uh, direct temperature measurements and, and the importance of using infrared windows. So what is an infrared window? Well, a window, first and foremost, is a, is a device that separates two environments of different pressure and temperature, etc., while allowing light at a specified wavelength to pass between the two. So the windows in your home, for instance, are designed to maintain your environment and enable visual light to pass through the glass so that, that it lights your room. If you look at an infrared inspection window, well, they should have the necessary properties and characteristics for infrared cameras and equipment that you want to use. Ideally, they should be able to be used in both the long wave and short wave, mid wave infrared inspection wavelengths. Uh, and, well, and also, obviously, uh, the window should meet the strength and environmental requirements for the type of equipment in which they're fitted. So if they need to be impact resistant or IP67, there's a whole bunch of remits that, that we have to consider when we're looking at the mechanical and the environmental requirements of an infrared window apart from the actual infrared transmission characteristics as well. So what makes a good infrared window? So an IR window should have high transmittance, low emittance and low reflectance. So the ideal infrared window would be one that would allow 100% of the infrared radiation to pass through it, but that just doesn't exist. I mean, unfortunately, with the materials available presently, we can't achieve perfect transmission rates, but we can get close to it with certain materials such as zinc selenoid, um, which has a, a, you know, a peak infrared transmission rate of 99%. We used to use in the days of the mid-wave uh, cameras, which are the three to five micron range uh, sapphires, which had wonderful transmission, you know, 96, 98% transmission across the whole range. But 
uh, unfortunately we, we can't use that type of material now and the higher transmissions like zinc selenide are far too cost prohibitive. Another term you might hear for infrared window classification is uh, viewing panes. Viewing panes is something that we we hear uh, referred to a lot in the electrical world as visual viewing panes. They're the visual windows that you'll see inside a switch gear to enable lockout and tag out. So again, viewing pane is an infrared inspection window that has a lens fitted to uh, housing that forms an IP65 or 67 seal or a NEMA 4 seal when, when closed and also when in use. Uh, the PPE level is not usually elevated when using a, this type of window as the operator risk is not increased during the inspection because you're not exposed, directly exposed to energised electrical components. Let's start to look at the types of infrared window that are available to you from IRIS. So the first one I'm going to discuss is the VPFC uh, crystal range of infrared windows. Um, our uh, range of windows are 20 to 25 percent larger than most of the other calcium fluoride windows you'll find in the marketplace. Our viewing uh, diameters are true viewing diameters so if we say we have a four inch window it has a four inch actual four inch viewing diameter which you, you will see some things in the field where they call it a four inch window but the actual viewing areas viewing diameter sorry is 3.5 inches so there's a difference there all of our windows have the same thickness of crystal uh, therefore you're not trying to adjust for transmissions because of different thicknesses of crystal uh, so we have a 3.5 thick crystal across the whole range our bodies are made, uh, the window housings are made from non-conductive UL94 plastics uh, which are insulated to 30,000 volts per millimetre. It's a nylon 6 based plastic, the same type of plastics that you use for making the contact as in switchgear. Now note, the quick note on crystals is that the IEEE has a standard C37 20.2 section A.3.6 for visual viewing panes above 1 kV that there's a mandatory impact and load test on these windows from both sides. Um, and you can do it with the covers covers in uh, in place, but the test criteria mustn't crack, shatter or dislodge. So air crystals or no other crystal window in the marketplace can meet this requirement. So if for that reason, we do not recommend them for industrial environments and that as well as they, they're hygroscopic and they do change, transmission does change over time. So again, not recommended for industrial environments. The next range we're going to discuss very briefly is our VPFI range of windows, which was our opaque windows. Um, what we did, we actually phased this out in the middle of 2016, and we now clearly just sell the clear polymer window, which is the VPT series. Um, again, this polymer is, is uh, what we call a polyview system because it works in all, all bands of infrared, uh, in the ultraviolet and the visual, so it, it's, uh, it meets all of those requirements. We have a fixed and stable transmission because uh, unlike crystals, it's non-hygroscopic, so it doesn't absorb acids, alkalis and waters in the atmosphere and doesn't degrade. Uh, the same bodies are used on this, uh, the same housings, uh, etc., that we use on the VPFC are used on the VPT series. Um, they have a stainless steel cover. And again, these, these, these windows are 20 to 25% larger than any of the other calcium fluorides um, that you'll find in the field, calcium fluoride-based windows that you'll find in the field. Also, these are protected by uh, the industry's 100% unconditional lifetime warranty, whereas you'll find other, other warranties that are available in the field are for manufacturer's defects only. Um, that really isn't good enough, especially when we know that the failure mechanism is in the crystals, uh, they will fail over time, so again, we can't guarantee crystals, but we do guarantee our polymer systems and unconditionally guaranteed guarantee for the lifetime of the installation. The CAP-CT series, obviously with our patented systems, we've, we realised very early that really we weren't limited to the round windows that everyone else uh, are that use crystals. So we developed from our patented systems a large format uh, CAP-CT CAP series, which are available in a 4, 6, uh, 14 and 24 inch standard sizes they large formats uh, that you know they utilize all of the benefits of our clear polymers um, they're ip65 rated fully certified to ieee ul csa dmv as are all of our products standard uh, the standard material is aluminum but you can they're available in roll steel stainless steel you can uh, customize these and even with color so there's a complete uh, availability of these these systems for you 
Now, only Iris offers custom engineering solutions, so one of the biggest things that we can offer at Custom is IR window system. You know, one of our things that we say is, why should you try and fit an infrared window when we can make infrared windows fit you? So if you look at the benefits of custom windows, uh, here you can see in this image here, we have 12 four inch round windows. Uh, average cost of these is between four and $500. Um, in this job, they use 12. Uh, also, in, it was at 12 um, installations as well. Uh, and again, non-impact resistant, mechanically inferior design. Um, cost much more to do less. So our way of doing this is to do uh, a custom cap, uh, cap series window that goes over the Lexan. We remove the Lexan, we put the cap CT series over that, which means you can still do lockout tag out, but then you can do your ultraviolet infrared inspections through that same window. And the one in below is a standard cap CT24. Um, done it with two windows, uh, obviously fully impact resistant, mechanically superior design, lockable designs and it costs much less to do far more. So that's the benefits of using custom systems. We start to really start to uh, make a lot more available to you. Here is another example of some custom solutions that we've done for Schneider Electric. These are gutter covers. Again, nice and easy to do. Another range of gutter covers which are made 100% here at Iris and here's a, a a, a pad mount transformer cover. Again, this one 24, but these now come as a complete punched out system where the whole panel is a window and it's a panel replacement. Obviously, we have to we have to power the coat. So again, you know, this is a, a data center that was done by Iris, and you can see what we did here. We had different rotating UPS systems, and we color coded all of the panels according to the UPS system that they were utilizing. Uh, it's another custom solution here for SNC replacement window that we did. Um, basically, this is designed to you know, unbolt the existing uh, visual viewing pane and bolt in a um, cap v, uh, CT at this, uh, this instance. Um, and that is a complete one for one replacement. Yeah, no cutting, no grinding. You just unbolt the old hardware and replace it with uh, the cap CT custom. Iris uh, custom solutions also, we do typical dead front panels. Uh, you can see in these images here, the whole panel becomes an infrared window and we've extended this range. So this, this can be grown to whatever size and concepts that you want. The other products we do for PowerGen are our Cat B series. The Cat B is an infrared window that's designed to go on, on bus bars. So in this case, it's a non-segmented bus bar. We can literally take the old cover, replace the cover with a window system that's literally bolt on, unbolt one, bolt a new one on. And now that enables me to see exactly what I need to see with the infrared camera. And also then, if there is a problem, you can remove the cover, the, the energizer, remove the cover, repair it, and move on. We took this out again because of obviously the custom products that we have and their patented systems. We can also curve our windows because the, the, the metals that we use and the polymers that we use are flexible. So in this instance, this is an ISO phase bar bus window. We made a saddle system that can either be welded or bolted onto the curved surface. And that is the adapter plate that takes the IR window. Now, in the case of uh, isophase bar bus, these are normally welded shut. So if you if you did manage to find a problem, which is extremely difficult without physically seeing the con the connections, to repair them, you would have to cut it open. Well, the Cap F window series is designed that if you do find something, you can shut the the isophase down, remove the window, and that then becomes an an, an access point for the inspection and repair. So the other problem, other ports that we do, VP12 ultrasound ports, uh, we have a VP12 IR window, small format IR window, and the VP12 ultrasound port or partial discharge port for use with uh, ultrasound equipment. Uh, we have a bunch of new products come to the market in 2016. The first obviously was our CAP EMV series. Uh, this was an extension on the CAP CT, but these are more of an environmental a unit uh, that were art containment tested to IEC 62271-200 for metal clad switch gear. 
Um, we upgraded the uh, gasket sealing system to an IP67 solution. Uh, again, fully certified to IEEE, US, uh, UL, CSA, DMV, etc., like all of our products, and 100% stainless steel construction. Now, these are available in other materials. We have had customers who've requested them to be made in aluminum because of their weight requirements, etc. But again, fully, fully um, customizable in the respects of, of color and materials, etc. What we also did from there, we actually combined, uh, very similar to our old um, CAP4 US, we've, we've come out with a CAP EMV PD series. And these again are available in the standard sizes, but we've now built into the CAP EMV an ultra sample. And this ultra sample now enables uh, you to do not just your infrared and ultraviolet inspections, but you can do your, your ultrasound and partial discharge inspections from a, from a specific port. Again, all of this is behind an IP67 cover, uh, very strong, very robust, um, and uh, a, a great uh, product for, the la for launch in 2016. We just repatented a system called QuitFit IR. This system is basically designed for panel boards. Uh, we do a lot of custom panel boards, but one of the things we found in the smaller format breakers was it became quite difficult to inspect so what we've done here is we've taken the standard breaker cover plate and we've made a, a, an infrared window that literally just clicks in the same way as you would put your cover plates. And it's, as you can see from the image here, it is perfectly positioned for a visual and infrared inspection of the load side of this small format breaker, which is typically where they fail in the field. So in summary, uh, infrared window is an electrical maintenance safety device designed to allow safe access for thermographers to inspect energized electrical equipment. Uh, and that's its only purpose. Yeah, that's what it's there to do. Infrared windows and ports and grills come in many shapes and sizes. And we must be aware that all locally manufactured devices should be pre-approved by qualified personnel before any modifications are made. Thank you for listening to this webinar on infrared windows. Um, if you need any more information on uh, infrared windows or any of the uh, IRIS EMSD product lines, please visit www.iris.com.